Kia ora, what's up, what's going on, welcome to my channel. In this episode we are going to discuss how to install the Aurora dashboard in your newly modded Xbox 360. So let's get started. So you're going to need a USB device or a USB stick of some sort that needs to be formatted inside the Xbox 360. So we need to go to the system settings, go to storage and insert your USB device. Once it shows up, let me go down to USB storage device, click on the yellow button and format it. The reason why we do this is because it creates a content folder and you'll soon see when we insert it into our PC. This is what it will look like when you insert your USB device into your PC. It'll show a content folder. If it's not there, go to view and select show hidden or show hidden files. So now after you've downloaded the folder I have given to you, select all the contents that is in it, copy and paste it to your USB device. When that has finished, go into your XEX menu 1.2 folder and copy this whole entire line. It's 16 zeros. You need to go back and we need to go into the content folder, the hidden folder, and paste it in there. As you can see there, you have to make sure that it's clicked on show hidden files. So I'm going to go into that. and paste. When it has completed, eject your USB device from your PC and reinsert it back into your Xbox 360. Now we're back over at our Xbox 360. We need to reinsert the USB device. Go down to USB storage device. Go down to demos. And we want to copy this to the hard drive. We can leave the USB device attached to the 360 for now as we need to transfer a couple of more files over. So now we press the B button again, again, and again. We need to go back out to the main area, go to the games area and go in there. And we need to scroll all the way to the end. The 
there we go and we select the XEX menu 1.2 and let it run once it boots up you'll be presented with the screen hit the LB button twice select the Aurora folder and press the yellow button or the Y button and copy it and then press right on the d-pad to go to the hard drive and press the yellow button and paste it in there once that's done press left on the d-pad to go back to the usb device and we're going to copy the next folder which is the dash launch so copy that press right on the d-pad and paste it in there there are a couple of extra folders left on the USB device or within that folder I had given you. We don't need to use those right now. We only need the Aurora and the Dash Launch. So now we flick back over to the hard drive with the D-pad. Press right on the D-pad and we're going to go into Dash Launch. Go down to that folder, select it and go inside it. And then select the default.xex and it will launch. Now we're going to set up the default dashboard. Click A on paths, go down to default, click A again, search for the aurora.xex file and click on that. Press A on it. Then go back up to paths and click A again to close it out. Now tap LB twice. And go down to hard drive HDD highlight it and press X to save the settings the dashboard is now Aurora it is no longer the default Xbox 360 dashboard now we press the home button in the middle of the controller and hit Y and this will take us straight to the dashboard And there we go, it's our new dashboard. Once it has finished scanning and building, this is what you will be presented with. We will be covering how to install games to the hard drive in another video. So if you learnt something in this video, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Ciao.